Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Clarice. I've got another gorgeous, absolutely beautiful DIY today. We are doing a dessert display made out of dollar store products. Yes, you heard that right. Everything you need is from the dollar store to start for the basics of this project. You're only going to be needing one foam board. So what we are going to do first is we're going to need a base. We're going to need something to put our structure on. You can also use those dollar store disposable trays that they have that they come in like silver and also gold at Dollar Tree. But I thought that this would be a nice base that works for me. I tried painting it a different color, but of course, silly me, it bent just like that. So I left it white and I thought it actually looks really, really good. So now we're going to take the other half of that foam board and we're going to start making our mini art backdrop. I got a lot of inspo on Pinterest and they are so cute. I really had to remake like a mini version of it. So as you can see here, I'm just starting to cut off some strips. It totally depends on the project that you want. If you want this to be a little bit bigger or on the smaller side, I will give you a little bit of my measurements, but of course it's going to depend on the size of the dessert display that you want. We're going to take a sharp X-Acto knife, make sure that it's sharp so it's not cutting really dull. And we're just going to make like half spears. I'm taking the tip of my X-Acto knife and I am going to push inwards with my foam board. Just like this, as you can see, you don't want to do it too hard. I really find that using just the tip of the X-Acto knife will give you an almost, almost perfect cut. Here are some measurements for your references in case you're all interested in remaking the exact same one that I am doing. Now we need a place to store our desserts. So we're going to have to cut some little strips as you can see here. And I have measured it, taken one of the dessert pieces and make sure that it fits on there. So it's going to look like this. It's so exciting, but obviously you can, you know, do whatever you want. You can do a couple shelves or just one single one. And now we're just going to paint our pieces and we just want to take some light acrylic paint and you just want to go light on the paint, not too watery, not too heavy, or else it's going to bend the foam board and we do not want that. And so I picked three different colors. Again, you can buy this from the Dollar Tree and you can even blend your own colors with just plain white. You can even take some darker colors for some contrast. But again, this is all up to your imagination. The possibilities for this project is so, so, so endless. After painting everything and leaving all that to dry, we're now ready to glue it on just with a glue stick. This is all you need. And I know it's crazy because is this going to withstand all of our desserts? Well, I'm actually going to do a little test for you in a second, but this is what it's going to look like. Now, when you're installing the little shelves, I really, really, really suggest that you all hold this on there for at least, at least 10 seconds. It may not look like it's 10 seconds here because I fast forwarded it on this video, but make sure that you hold it down so that it stays in place and it doesn't fall off. And trust me, it will stay in its place. Some of the glue gun is going to ooze out, but you can just take that off or you can leave it. doesn't matter because it's going to get covered anyways. So this one on the left side will only hold one dessert. I thought it was so cute with just one. And this one in the middle is going to hold four. And I'm going to show you right now how sturdy this whole thing actually really is because I know it's made of a foam board. It's crazy. And make sure that you do pick desserts that are a little bit lighter. You know, some chocolate covered strawberries will do some macarons. I got a lot of my desserts from Whole Foods. They're the mini ones. If you guys see the bigger versions of these backdrops on Pinterest, they need florals and you can do faux flowers or fake ones. And this is what is absolutely going to make this whole thing pop. I also got some stickers from Michaels just to customize this because it's almost Mother's Day here. And this just completes the whole look. I cannot get over how cute this actually turned out. It's so beautiful, perfect for any types of events. And if you love this DIY, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel because we do tons of great DIY projects here as well as the motherhood. And 
make sure you comment down below and let me know what you think of this. I will see you in the next video. Bye.